Alright. Oh no, it does go out to nothing. <laughs> I get excited for nothing. It goes out to two dead villagers, which drop a friggin' scroll of companion. Which I don't even use, because I hate so much. I hate it so much! Okay. You guys gonna explode? There we go! Purple and wave, purple and wave. Nice. I know some people don't like talking about other games while we're playing one game, but I'm looking forward to Guild Wars 2. I've actually seen a lot of uh, media coverage on it over the past few days, and that is a game that I'm uh, looking forward to checking out. I'm very leery of playing MMOs again after the incredible amount of time that I spent playing World of Warcraft. Just took up so much time for me but I mean you know if it's if it's good and I think that especially if it's something that we can cover on the channel if people express interest in it um, why not throw it into the mix right if it's what I'm playing I'd like to be able to cover it for you guys obviously I'm, I'm much well more versed in the games that I'm playing and I, I think that I, well I don't know I mean it's definitely not looking to come up before D3 though and certainly once Diablo 3 comes out my hands will be quite full my time will be pretty much set for me be doing all sorts of stuff with the game. All right. That's nice. I like that that conal damage there, that frontal damage. Let's decoy up here for these guys. See if we can get some of that damage. I'm really pissed off that these skeletons don't even bother looking anywhere near it. Well, at least these dark cultists were affected by it. I really am unimpressed with uh, lethal decoy overall, unless you've got full spirit and you can just trigger it right away. It doesn't seem like anyone's even looking at it. No one's even paying attention to it. Let me see. Let me switch it up right now. Um, what do I want to do here? Uh, let's do. Why not? How about we just play around with blinding flash a little bit? Even though it's pretty unnecessary. I spent most of the last time doing dashing strike the last playthrough, so. I'll try to, you know, let's play around with something other than that. This is going to be something very, very potent when you certainly, when it when it becomes a point, when you reach a point where those large groups of people are actually threatening, being able to drop a blinding flash on them is huge. It's, it's, it's so much more than just absorbing and avoiding damage. Being able to uh, pacify your opponents there. Pretend these guys are actually threatening. Being able to drop this to the front three and then kind of move into the back and take those out and then move to the front, that's, that's going to be great. I mean, that's going to be very, very effective. There's no doubt about that. So again, yeah, I mean, again, effectively pacifying half the group there. And then just working on, you know, one portion and then moving to the next. It's the same in StarCraft as dropping force fields to take half a group out of the action. Just like force fields are OP, I feel like Blinding Flash has that potential to be incredibly strong. In the right context, of course. I don't know how effective or if it's even going to even work in PvP. But in PvE against large groups of enemies that are actually threatening, um, tremendous potential. Absolute tremendous potential. Right, first go over here since that clearly is the direction we need to move. I want to make sure we don't miss anything too much over here. And why don't we check out these barrels. To stop all the nerd raging that be going on in them there YouTube con comments. Alright. So let's, yeah, let's pacify these guys here. Come take out threatening dudes. And then we can go back. And <clears throat> Looks like my Templar friend took care of most of it anyways. But. Break beneath the endless tide, she says. <laughs> Probably not as a deep voice. Hopefully. Unless it's a female barb, any voice that deep on a woman. Ooh, spooky. Quite spooky. Black magic bars our way, but the will of a Templar is stronger. Hmm. Jondar. Oh, Jondar. What are you doing, huh? You betrayer, you. Ah, oh, fuck. I wanted to see if it actually worked on him. Being, you know, like a semi-boss. Magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Anything? Meh. 
what I get. Oh, nice. That is very nice. Let's pick that up. Excuse me. There we go. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep them with us. And nope, don't really want that so much. Don't want that so much. Let us give him, I don't really need the healing. Let's give him some tank and stuff. Let's make you a tank, Templar. All right. And here we are, Cathedral of Afford, the largest and most randomized area in the beta. This, this has got the, the, the largest area that's that, that we have to deal with randomization um, when it comes to just the various different rooms and trying to figure out how to get down into the royal crypts. This is uh, the most frustrating part. It's just the one that's not it's not as uh, you know straightforward. <clears throat> To count how many we've killed. I think uh, I'm actually I'm almost done leveling the artisan and once we get to level cap I'll show you guys the unfortunate thing is like after the second level you start to like all the gear you can't even craft because it's got level cap of like you know 20 plus and we're capped at 13 so so it's kind of a bummer I wish that you know we could make some sweet gear from that but really doesn't look like that's going to be happening here. I do enjoy the blinding flash though. Seems like it works on almost everything even. You always worry when it comes to crowd control stuff if there's certain types of enemies that it won't be effective on, but so far it seems to be affecting everything. I do want to check kind of the bossy or the mini bossy types of guys, but everything else is getting smoked right now by it. Scroll of Companion, crap. Absolute crap. Worthless for me. <laughs> nice. Very nice. XP bonus. Usually you find absolutely nothing back here, but it looks like we got chest and a body this time. Some extra gold. Some extra gold pieces. And see ya. Now the zombies I don't see breaking the wall down on themselves. It's those skellies that keep doing it. Just don't seem all that bright. Let's check. Is this, uh, this guy is effective. We're gonna check that. Yeah, there it is. Full blind on everybody. All right. Oh, I was just wondering what the Templar did. That looked like his taunt. We saw that debuff uh, around the enemies that were near him. It looked like that was his taunt. Yeah, that's strong. <clears throat> Got a little spawn here? Nope. Nothing. What are these pictures? Is that Tyrael? Uh, I think it is. I believe that's Tyrael. <clears throat> that's cool. Still don't like how these bookcases are still bugged out. That specific one and that specific uh, segment area has been bugged out pretty much every single time that I've gone past it. Uh, let's keep going in this direction. I like to just pick a path and stick to it. We can backtrack after. Oh, this will bring us into one of those big open areas. I hate these little guys. They're just, they never come to you. They run away from you all the time. Kind of annoying. Ooh, what's this? There it is, treasure pygmy. Did he get the snare? Ooh, yes he did, nice. Perfect. Great. Got, what is that, Tunica the Ox? Our criminals treated in your land. Don't care Often about Vitality. I am sent to find them and punish them. How odd. In the order, they are just executed. <laughs> He's asked that on my other characters before. <clears throat> How criminals are treated in my land. Obviously, different answer for every class is what you're going to end up with. i sell some of this stuff. Yep. Mm, yep, don't need minimum damage either. Don't need that either. I've known that forever.
Oh, so much stuff. I, I really want some sweet drops, but we haven't really seen anything in uh, quite a while. It, it, it's it's at the point where, you know, most of my upgrades are coming just straight from crafting. And, you know, if you, if you get kind of unlucky crafting, then you would have to look in the auction house. But it doesn't seem, once you get to, you know, level 10 plus, that what's dropping in-game is really doing anything for you in terms of upgrades. Everything's been subpar, too. And in fact, even these, like... The, these rare gloves and these rare pants that have been dropping off the end boss, when you do your first run through, it seems like you, you get a rare every time. Like, if you go with a character from one to the Skeleton King, uh, getting at least one rare item every time, and then after that, I haven't seen a single one. Like, I've been running through on my level 13s and haven't got a single rare item. But even those rare items aren't that good when you start to get nice rolls on the crafted gear. The crafted gear, stat-wise, is just a lot stronger. You're doing a lot more damage. You're just a lot more benefit from it. So, so yeah, it's, you know, whatever. But with this, what's happening, of course, is with the limited content, there's only so much for people to do. And... Unless you're in a, someone like me in a situation where you're finding things to produce content on, you know, I'm trying to make videos to keep, you like, I, my purpose here, I'm, pa you know, past the stage of leveling my characters to 13 and everything, a, a normal person would probably just stop playing right now. Most cases, some people will be fanatics and just play non-stop, but when you run out of the content and you, like, level up all the characters, for most people, it's like, oh, that's kind of boring, but, you know, I'm re-leveling characters, I'm showing you guys various aspects of the game, so, anyways, the whole point is, my my blabbering is, is reaching a point, it's that a lot of people will stop playing after a short while, uh, who are in the beta, and that means that it opens up avenues for more beta keys to get sent out, because that's how Blizzard's doing it. As, uh, as attrition starts to take place when it comes to the people who have access to the beta, I haven't really much spent much time taking a look at those pictures, but those are pretty cool. As attrition takes place, then they, they're just going to start inviting more and more people. So that's the good news, you know, especially with the delay. Well, that's not good news, but with the delay comes a longer beta, and that means more beta keys. So, you know, there's going to be a lot more beta keys than they initially intended due to this delay in, in the game. So, you know, people have got a chance. I don't think it's as, in, um, you know, I don't think it's as unlikely as people maybe think it is. It's definitely a chance. And we expect there to be beta key giveaways and all this kind of stuff too, so. So, yeah. I guess with that said, you know, people who aren't in the beta don't want more features added. Because <laughs> that means the people who have access will come back to it. So, I can understand. I can understand that. So, for your sakes... You know, maybe some of you out there don't want any more content added to the beta just so you have a greater chance of getting in. That I could understand. And then some people would be like, F that, just get the game out faster. I can certainly understand that as well. Alright, so we're going to keep cutting here. So you can see what I mean. This 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 one zone has got kind of the lengthiest uh, <clears throat> walkthrough process. It's large and, and a lot more randomization. As I said when we first came down here... But, fret not, because we're getting close to completion here. And once we move down to the next area, and that's that. We'll be killing the Skeleton King yet again. He will meet his demise once more by the hands of a force-driven character. And some more blinding flash here. There we go. Looking sharp. Hmm, it's down here. There we go, nice. Exceptional hand wrap. Certainly not exceptional. You fight well with that spear. It is nothing compared to the Grand Maester's spear. It is named Akanesh. The, the Grand Maester. Completely forgot to give him some upgrades. <clears throat> but you know what? He's doing just fine. He doesn't need it. There it is! There it is. Alright, but... But, before we go down there... We gotta finish the exploring here. And there is one more area. I'm gonna cut through straight center. And I think it's probably gonna pull up there as well. Because people do want to see this. That's the point of this exploration Let's Plays. So we're going back. Shouldn't be too much longer, though. Because we're getting there. We're wrapping things up shortly. 
Look at that, see? Just cut straight through. Level 9 even. Alright, what do we get now? What do we got for a new spell here? <laughs> Mantra of Retribution. Well, let's, I guess we can just pick that up then, shall we? Um, <clears throat> let's see. That is going to be uh, Mantra for yourself and allies within 40 yards to reflect damage back to enemies dealing holy damage equal to 30% of the damage sustained. Alright, so, going to be taking 30% damage whenever it hits. This effectively gives me some variation of the thorns. Might want to get rid of Deadly Reach with that being the case. Um, you know, I want people to be, I want people to be right up on me. <laughs> Sounded great. Um, no, but I want people to be within distance. So I'm going to keep my damage dealers to be in, be in close combat. <clears throat> and that way, things will be, uh, that way this mantra will actually be effective. My thorn mantra. Ooh, and I like that it's given it to my Templar buddy as well. Alright, so it appears that I missed that one corridor, but you know what? I'm not going to do it. We're just going to go. I missed one small section. We're not pulling back for that. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys will live. I am most certain of it. Hmm, Royal Crips. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Force. Why are you acting super creepy? Don't know. <laughs> when you when when you're on the uh, like eighth or seventh let's play, all of which are an hour plus, you know, it just starts to get a little odd. Things just start to get a little funny at that point. <clears throat> Can you blame me? No, I don't think so. All right, let's just check over here. Just want to see if there's a chest or anything. Oh, there we go. Seven gold. That was certainly worth it. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to break all the urns on this side. Here. See if we can get anything. Nope. Looks like uh, it's going to be big negatory there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, well, let's keep going. I've yet to receive a single solid item, solid item from breaking urns or anything like that. Is that our range? Crap. Very small range on this. I guess that's what I was looking for, though, right? I asked for it. All right, let's get rid of these pillars. Nice and quick. Thorn damage still doesn't come into effect, although it looks like it's uh, helping Templar guy over here quite a bit. And there we go. Pillar's gone. Take this out. Beautiful. This way, sir. Get that mantra back up. What's the length on that? It's 120, huh? Seems shorter. Nice visual to that, too. Looks good. And there we go. Here we are, guys. Finally. At the Skeleton King yet again. And actually, which one is this? Five, six, seven? Eight. Number eight. Wow, yeah, so this is the eighth time we've done this Let's Play. Working our way through the beta. Whew. That is a lot. Thanks to, uh, for, for any of you guys who have been sticking with me. I don't know, maybe some of you are picking up halfway through. This is the first time you've seen this. Who knows, really, but if you've been sticking through it, man, rock on to you. Get all your Diablo fix you can, right? Until you get the beta yourself, I don't blame you. Certainly, it is. It certainly is a lot of fun, even with the limited content. It certainly is quite a bit of fun. So, you know, I'm hoping that everyone that wants to gets a chance to get in. Um, I don't know. I I think I'm gonna optimize my build for fighting him, though. I don't necessarily know that. I want to go in with this uh, skill set right here. Yeah, let's let's go for something that's actually going to work well against him. So starting things off, we want that range there. Um, I think we're certainly going to want a spender. Why don't we make it the lashing tail kick and the mantra? Him getting hit for thirty percent would be good, but I'm I'm attempting to avoid getting hit in general. So um, let's go with the dashing strike. This works for me, guys. Let's do it that way. There we go. All right. 
And here we are again at the end of another one of these Let's Plays. So just going to quickly dispatch here of the Skeleton King. And then uh, all we're going to have left now is the Witch Doctor and the Wizard female characters for the single uh, player Let's Plays. And then we should be moving on to the co-op stuff. Wow, guys, it's been a long journey. Thanks to all of you uh, resilient Diablo fans who've been sticking through here with me. I'm glad you guys enjoy the content. I'm glad you guys have, uh, you know, been having a good time. I'm happy to bring this stuff to you, so... I appreciate the support, I appreciate your views, and, you know, you guys liking the content. It means a lot. It really does. I'll do my best to keep the quality nice and high and produce for you guys the best, the best content available out there for whatever. Starcraft, Diablo, whatever the game is. Try to be the best. Just how I am. You know, strive for greatness. Otherwise, what do you got? You got nothing if you don't got that. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'm being a little dramatic there, but I do try my best to, to be top notch. You know? So, thanks for watching. Look at that. Nice and easy kill. I wonder if I even got anything good. I've really been feeling jets here lately been giving me kind of crap for gear but that is it once more defeated oh nice that is an upgrade that's a very nice upgrade great good job excellent beautiful wonderful glorious day <clears throat> don't need that get rid of this stuff too all right guys thank you again once more for the eighth time in fact for watching this let's play series just now finishing up the female version of the monk doing the exploration just looking all over the place here in these Let's Plays. Um, stay tuned for the last two, the Witch Doctor and the Wizard female versions. As always, guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning. The gods guide me. You cannot win. The gods guide me. You cannot win. Your best will be easily defeated. Hmm.